The miracle healing power of this over-the-counter drug discovered by a Russian chemist in the 1800s? Find out what it is, how it can help your dogs and cats in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. So what is this mystery miracle product I am discussing? Ta-da! It is this one called a DMSO or dimethyl sulfoxide. DMSO is actually derived from pine trees and it was isolated from pine trees via this chemist in the mid 1800s. Turns out that it's also in this guy here. It's in garlic. So it is a naturally occurring product. It's got a long history of research, still seen as very controversial and virtually unknown in conventional circles. It is now used in conventional medicine. It's currently an approved treatment by the FDA for interstitial cystitis. That's bladder inflammation where it's not related to a bacterial infection. And guess what other critter gets interstitial cystitis? Not just people, kitty cats. That's Murray. It could be good for you. So how does it work? Well, it's a sulfur containing compound and sulfur is indispensable through most of the cells in our body, in our pet's body. It also has this unique ability to rapidly penetrate through the skin, as well as even passing through the blood brain barrier. So it's allowed to you know, get into the specific areas that are damaged and be beneficial. Because it rapidly penetrates through the skin, through your pet's skin, you are gonna wanna be using gloves. So here's my little handy dandy exam glove. And we're gonna drop some on Murray's skin. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. You, El Murray. So here's my bottle of DMSO I picked up from the co-op, cost me about $10. Super cost effective. And comes in a nice little dropper. Can be applied directly to any inflamed joint. Doesn't, there's no smell to it. It doesn't hurt, it's this clear liquid. Just rub it into the affected joint. Easy so much better than having to give your cat who doesn't like pills a pill. Is that not easy, Murray? Number two, you can be using DMSO in combination with other medications to bring those into the joint. Let's say for instance, your dog, your cat has a topical skin tumor. You wanna get some CBD into that skin tumor, i.e. Dr. Jones's ultimate CBD for dogs and cats. Well, you drop some of that CBD onto the affected area. And yes, some of the CBD will get absorbed, but not only that, you can speed up absorption of that CBD if you were to use DMSO. CBD, Murray, a few drops on the growth. I'm gonna rub that around. A few more drops, say about a half a mil of DMSO. All right, really effective way to get, as I said, additional medications into an area. So we're bringing CBD into a growth. Perhaps even bringing something like a tromiel cream into a joint that's arthritic. The third big benefit I see for our animals, especially our cat owners, is interstitial cystitis. And we have so many of these cats have recurring bladder infections. They are not related to bacteria. So we know it's called idiopathic bladder inflammation. So we just have inflammatory cells. We see bleeding, straining. You know, this cat's licking themselves, recurring bouts of this, and it's gonna be really uncomfortable, super difficult to treat. We should be considering DMSO as well. Easy way for you at home would be to be able to just putting it on topically in the area of the bladder, having some of that get absorbed. At your veterinary clinic, they could actually catheterize uh, your cat, for instance, and actually put some of the DMSO directly into that inflamed bladder. So if they get to the point where they're that bad, and you want some type of like relatively fast, safe way to give relief to your cat, 
talk to your veterinarian about using DMSO as well. If Murray were to have interstitial cystitis and I wanted to use DMSO on him, I would just be rubbing it in his groin in this area here. Miss Murray, I'd be doing that a couple times a day because I know some of that's gonna penetrate in through the skin and hopefully some of that's gonna make its way into your blood system and at the very least concentrate in his bladder. Because we're not, you're not gonna get it going right into his bladder that way, but we know some of it's gonna get absorbed. It'll concentrate into his bladder as his kidneys metabolize that DMSO, giving him some good natural pain relief. There, Murray. A couple of other potential uses, one for drugs, extra vessation injury. So for instance, when we're using some of the chemotherapy drugs, sometimes if those are injected outside of the vein, they can cause horrible skin necrosis. All this skin all around has been injected with chemotherapeutic drug. One of the only really effective treatments, DMSO. Your veterinarian should be aware of that. It's also being now researched for Alzheimer's. Because uh, DMSO can cross the blood-brain barrier, get into the brain, and it seems to have some protective anti-inflammatory benefits on the brain cells. More research will be coming. Is this applicable for our dogs and cats? Potentially, you know, we're dealing with cognitive dysfunction. A bunch of uses. I would have you consider using DMSO if your dog or cat is to have some of those health conditions. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on DMSO and why you should be using this for your dogs and cats. If you've yet to do so, click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.